Um, I'm an artist, and I come from Saskatchewan originally. I grew up on a farm. Well, when I first went to university, I, I majored in, in, in English. And then I took an art class from Otto Rogers, and I thought, shit, that's what I really wanted to do, because I always liked to draw and stuff when I was a kid. Like, I remember my father saying, what are you going to do? Now you're taking art classes. How are you going to make a living? So then I went and got my MFA and taught at the University of Regina. And then my dad used to vote. Oh, me son, my son teaches at the University of Regina, teaches art. So that, everybody had to know that. <laughs> and I, I taught drawing and printmaking for five years. And then I say I never, never got tenure. So I, and in the meantime, I had bought a, a, a couple of years before, I'd bought a, a, an old church in this town, and so I had a place to live. But it was quite tough because my wife and I had to split up, and, and I had just paid off my debts from going to school. So <laughs> but uh, I, I managed. Oh, yeah, and that's how I started making animals because Joe for Part said, you know, because all my animal drawings, those weird ones, animals building things. The big gopher and the elephant was made out of uh, lumber that was donated and uh, we worked on it and it's, it's like, it was like 25 feet high with a long slide. Well the, the kids just loved them. I think in Ottawa they, they wanted to work the kids to enjoy it and boy were they ever good. Like they were, let's see, 10 years old maybe. More than half were girls and there was boys and they worked like crazy. And, it, and that was a lot of work there because it was made out of uh, wood, pieces this long like firewood. And then I had, I got a, a, actually rented a cement mixer. So we'd mix cement and then they had little buckets. And they were funny and you know, they were very proud of it. The death were, but I'm, I'm gonna bring my mom and dad tomorrow to see what we're doing, you know. Like, yeah, that was a, a wonderful thing. Well, I grew up on a farm, and both my mom and dad loved animals, wild animals. In spring, deer would come there, because that's the, that's the first green grass that was around. The wild grass wasn't up yet. Loving animals. Well, and you have tame animals on a farm, too. Horses, cows, calves. Calves are always exciting. Here's a newborn calf. It was so it was, uh, fun. Maybe see around here, there are animals that are not even here anymore, or, or not have long to go because, uh, because of climate change and whatnot. So I guess, I, I would hope that people look at that and they would say, well, the animal's endangered. But I, it's for me, too. To, to some, I'm doing something, making myself feel better, you know, about that. So maybe it makes other people, if it makes me feel better, it must make other people feel better. We lived in... Um, the street right across from the hospital. Anyway, that's where we lived. We got a, we got a bought a little house there. So I, the studio I had there was in the basement, but that wasn't, wasn't as nice as this. It was smaller, but it was a place for me to work. Well, I taught like I taught at the, at the University of Ottawa. I taught uh, um, uh, drawing, a couple of classes, and later on I taught at the Ottawa School of Art. Look at my work. That's that's the best way to, to get to know me, I think. But but uh, other work. Uh, so when it's all there, like what? I don't think I don't think I hide anything. <laughs> That's a kind of a funny story. When I went to country school, there was there was another person in grade in grade one, Charlie Ministerski, and he was a little brat. And I was like, uh, I'd like to, to you know raise a little hell too in a way. But so one time uh, they were building the road past our farm, and in Saskatchewan, when you when you dig away in that first nice layer of black earth that you, you often hit clay, which the old pioneers would like the old Canadian when they plastered their houses with clay. Anyway, so it had rained and then Charlie and I went there and he says, holy smokes, we should make some things. So we made a, I think we made a, a well, it was supposed to be a bull mounting a cow 
And then we just made a huge penis, about four feet long, out of clay. And then this, this, it had gotten very hot, so it really bakes it. And just, it's, it stood there all summer. And I said, nobody else, and nobody else knew what it was, just other kids. I think that uh, shows what we were, you know. And, and I still am like that, sort of. That's why I do crazy drawings and, and whatnot. Well, I guess you could say I can't stop. You know, I, well, I just like it, it's, and it's... Uh, when you're younger and, you, and, you, and you're sort of learning to draw and, the, you know, and whatnot, then you, <clears throat> you uh, it's maybe not quite so much fun, but when you're older and you know what, what you want to do, it's, uh, and I, I like working every day. You know, it's, it's just part of my life. What did I say? Well, you know, it keeps me happy, you know? It's, it's, it's uh, keeps me going.